within these chapters, there's a lot of references to the Pharisees. And I feel like sometimes it would be beneficial to understand their point of view, where they're coming from. Can we start there and just kind of get a little background on who they are and why there's so much attention on them? The Pharisees are a Jewish sect. Okay. So they're part of Judaism, but Judaism isn't just one monolithic ideology. There's multiple groups that are within Judaism that are following their practice as best they can. Maybe the best analogy we can give is Christianity. Okay. There's lots of Christians in the world, and you've got cells or sects of individuals who are following Christianity, but in a little bit different okay. way. And so the Pharisees are one of these Jewish sects uh, from antiquity. Now, the Pharisees, they start sometime around 150 years before the birth of Jesus, and they're part of this big revival. What's happened is their country has been under the jurisdiction of really mean oppressors mm -hmm. for a long time, and now they're starting to be liberated with the Hasmoneans. And with that liberation came a little bit more freedom to, well, this is my view of Judaism, and this is my view, okay. and then people are starting to separate. And so the Pharisees are one of those groups that separate at that time, about 150 years before Christ. Okay. In fact, the word Pharisee means set apart. So they see themselves as this special group. They see that they are the inheritors of the Mosaic tradition, the law of Moses. So the Sadducees, they center their view of Judaism on the temple, whereas the Pharisees center their view of Judaism and the, the laws of God in the text of the Bible and their oral tradition of how to interpret that. And what we see is Jesus is taking on the oral traditions that they have built up over time, some of which are not even based in the scriptures, or they have interpretations that seem to kind of play with the scriptures in ways that don't help people draw closer to God. So again, as Josh was saying, you have these different, different groups of Judaism going on at the time of Jesus. And Jesus is trying to help the people see the truth in the midst of all these different Jewish groups claiming they know how to lead people to God. 